Okay. Hello, my name is Paul Johnson. I was an NYPD police officer. I was assigned to the emergency service unit. I was assigned to truck seven, which is out of East New York. On the day of 9-11, I was actually home. Um, when, the, when the news came on, I responded directly to the World Trade Center, to my truck, changed my clothes, and then we started to respond to um, the World Trade Center on a bus. I got there by 11 o'clock in the morning. We worked through the night. I actually was one of the many people that worked on the Port Authority officer that was buried alive. Um, since then, I worked over there over 10 months. Um, when getting there, I worked um, the head uh, weight relief. I used to work from 6 o'clock at night to 1 o'clock in the afternoon when I was down there. I worked on the even, I got hit with a cinder block um, in, from a payloader in March and it took out my knees and since then I've had nine knee surgeries. That's when I retired off the job. I retired in 2003, December 31st and I, moved, I relocated down to South, South Carolina to Fort Mill and um, about three years ago my lungs shut down and my next neighbor rushed me to the hospital and he said do you want to stay us to stay I said nope I'm going to be admitted and then from there on they scoped my throat and they said I, I had a um, severe blockage in my bronchial tube um, my bronchial tube is the size of a straw also I went right after that back to Duke I went up to Duke for a better hospital and not that the hospitals aren't good here, but up to Duke. And um, they did another lung scope, and they found that I have bronchial tracheal malaysia, sympathetic vocal cord syndrome. My left lung only works 65%. The bronchial branches are all closed. Um, it's getting perpetually worse, and right now, it's just a matter of time. I just called a doctor today, and there's nothing else they can do. They said it was either going hospice or palliative care, and that turned into be a nightmare. And uh, I got off the palliative care, but it's it's I can't. There's, there's nothing else they they can do. They can't fix it. They can't do a lung transplant. Um, all this heaviness you see on me is from prednisone. I was 190 pounds on a SWAT team, and now I'm 270 pounds of all the medicines I take. I take 17 medicines a day. Um, I belong to the program of LHI, which is the World Trade Center, which they do a very good job taking care of me. And um, it's just a waiting game and try to do the best I can mentally and physically. And some days are rough days where I can't get out of bed. And some days I have good days where I can do things. Um, but uh, I get shaky or I'll get exhausted or I've wobbled. I've been in intensive care twice. This year, I was in intensive care for four days. My blood pressure was um, 60 over 50, and I almost I had 80% chance of not making it. Got out of the hospital a week and a half later. I was back in ICU again, and my blood pressure was dropping again. And I was only there for a day, but I was in the hospital for eight days. So I've spent, in the last year and a half, I've spent 130, 125 days total, not in one shot, total in CMC and um, much um, in Duke. I've also had two blood transfusions. I've had bilateral embolisms in my lungs. I've had an in bleed. I've needed four bags of blood. I needed um, four bags of, of uh, uh, plasma. Um, I also uh, had a stroke. So um, my body's just fighting against me. So that's basically it. And now it's just to live day by day and pray to God and keep my spirits up. And that's about it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Paul. You're very welcome. I'm reading a book and not knowing when the chapter is going to end. Every day, I, you know, my wife's got to deal with it, and my kids have got to deal with it, and they got to get upset when I go to the hospital so many times, and I could be in the hospital from three days to eight days. And, you know, it's just a rough thing that my family is going through. It's not only me, it's my wife and my kids. And 
a lot of prayers and a lot of people are there for me. But this program that John is fighting for is unbelievable. And it basically gives me answers and uh, people that deal, I deal with at LHI, I, they treat me like a king. They give me whatever I want. I'm on oxygen at home. I'm on a CPAP mask at 14 pounds with five milliliters of oxygen. So that's what's strapped to my face most of the time. And then as you can see, I wear oxygen at four liters when I don't have it. But I can already start feeling the shakes because I've been up too much. Um, but I knew John was here, so I wanted to make sure I, I came and saw him and thanked him. Thank you very much.